Okay, I am so excited about the new announcement that Thrivecart made overnight that I wanted to jump in here. And for those of you who aren't familiar with Thrivecart yet, I wanted to give you a quick show round of what the platform is about, how it works, and what they've just added on. So I haven't had a chance to play around with the new learning management system that they've um, created yet, but I've dipped in to have a peek. Um, but what I'm gonna show you now is the actual core functionality of Thrivecart as a checkout platform, because it's absolutely changed the way that I've been able to put offers out. So um, if you are selling workbooks or workshops or memberships or courses or any kind of digital, um, digital asset, this is an amazing platform for you. You can also sell um, actual products, like if you've got books or anything like that, then you can go ahead and sell those as well through this platform. Obviously, then you need to um, factor in the logistics for the delivery of those. With um, digital products, it's really straightforward to integrate Thrivecart with your email marketing system or with your learning management system, which you might already have in place. And so it can deliver everything on, on autopilot for you. But now with the new announcement that they are including their own learning management system, then it's included within the lifetime one-time offer with the Thrivecart price. And that's what makes this an incredible opportunity. So if you're not yet up and running with some kind of delivery mechanism for your membership or courses, then this is a great time for you to jump on board. So let me just show you Thrivecart as a checkout platform first and show you what it can do for you. So this is my kind of product dashboard. So this is where I create any kind of new products that I'm wanting to sell. And I'm going to walk you through the process of how I go through this. So the first thing you do is you literally click on create a product and it gives you an option to create a digital product or a physical product. Now, if you're selling the likes of books or something that actually needs delivery, then you're going to need this because then it enables uh, you to take their um, address details on checkout. So for most of us, we're probably likely to be using this digital option here. So I'm going to go ahead, click on create the product and it walks us through a wizard to get this up and running. So let's call this, um, I'm going to run with any name. In fact, I'm just going to call it my incredible course. Now what you add here will actually show up on your checkout cart and the invoice that the client receives. So you want to make sure that this is something that A is compelling and B is recognizable as your course. You can, if you need to identify it to yourself in some kind of way, you can add a label here, which is going to help you do that. So in here, you can um, pop in something like a three week self-study version of course. So that can remind you what it is if you're needing some kind of prompt. And then the checkout URL is what is going to show up on your actual link to this course. So this could be anything that you want it to be. It will also populate with the product name. Um, if you change it, be sure that you don't include any spaces in here and it's all lowercase by default. So if you have spaces in there, make sure that you put hyphens in their place. Um, and then if you are the only person managing your account, then this will automatically default to your name. But I have a few people on my account, so I would need to select myself as the owner of the product. Now, under product status, you can change it from uh, test mode to disabled, which is a product which you're no longer offering, but it's useful to still have it in your dashboard so you can refer back to past purchases of it. Um, or you can put it live when you're ready to actually publish it. Test mode is useful because you're going to be able to go through the exact process of purchasing the product and see what it triggers in terms of automations and delivery at the end. So I'm going to leave it in test mode. I'm going to click on to next. So like I say, it just literally takes you through the wizard. So the pricing options are where this is get this gets really exciting. So you can select what price or uh, what currency you want it in. I'm just going to put it in GB pounds because that makes the most sense for me. Um, and then you are going to set up the product pricing. So this is where some of the real power of Thrivecart comes into its own because there's lots of different payment types that you could have. So for the likes of, let's say you've got a thousand pound course, you could have a one-time a one fee of a thousand pounds. 
And you can even offer a trial period if you want to, so you can let people dip into it for a day to have a quick look around, or you can leave it at none, or you can customize this in any way that you want to. So it tells you really helpfully what they're gonna get charged at this point. You can also limit the quantity if you want to. I, I pretty much always leave this on default. So then once you've got that, you can name this pricing option. This is what's gonna show up on your cart. And by the way, I always remove these extra zeros because then it makes it look more expensive, even though it's not. So if you're including digital um, like uh, points, de uh, decimal points and extra zeros on the end, it makes the product look more expensive. So psychologically, I always remove those uh, just to make it look like it's real price. And then you can also only allow one purchase at a time, or you can allow people to purchase more than one. So then you can go ahead and click on save. So this is the one time option, but then you can add additional pricing options. So if you want to create a split pay option, then you can go ahead and on here, you'll see there's a subscription option, a split pay option, or a pay your own price. So pay your own price became really, really popular during, uh, during COVID because people were wanting to help people get online or lose weight or whatever their kind of zone of genius was and they wanted to do it at an affordable price to, to help people through the pandemic. So pay your own price became really a, a really used feature that we saw a lot more during the pandemic than we'd ever seen before. So you can still offer this as an option. Um, probably more likely you're going to offer something like a split pay option. So for your thousand pound product you might want to give people an opportunity to spread it over, let's say four payments of 250 pounds each time. And then, like I say, Thrivecart gives us really helpfully a breakdown of how that works. So it tells us that your customer will be charged 250 pounds immediately, and then 250 pounds every month for the next three months, the total amount paid for the product will be a thousand pounds. So that is really helpful when you're doing more kind of complex pricing options. I always click this so the customer sent an invoice for every recurring payment because it just eliminates some of the paperwork and admin that you will have to deal with when someone comes back to you and says, I don't seem to have an invoice for my February payment. Can you send me one? So make sure that you're always sending them an invoice. And again, we've got the quantity that we can control here. And again, we get this option to actually uh, um, just put whatever we're wanting to call it in here. So you might want to call this the for pay plan or however you want to call it. So, and then just identify what it is, uh, 250 pounds per month. Um, and then you can click on save. So now we've got those two options that are gonna become available at the checkout. So a client can decide if they want to go for the full pay or the full pay plan. Now, usually the payment plans are a little bit more expensive. So usually they would end up paying more than the thousand uh, pounds in total. And usually when people are calculating that, they will probably add about 10% to the actual payment plan. If you're VAT registered, you're gonna to need to go ahead and click on here, and then it will give you some options for setting up the actual categories. So perhaps it's coaching, which is taxable, and then you can just make some amendments to your tax settings here if you need to. Now, these tax settings are only available to you if you buy the pro plan. So you need to be on Thrivecart Pro in order to make use of the sales tax function and also the affiliate center function. So if you're wanting affiliates to be able to sell your products for you and for you to be able to track them through and give them commissions when they sell your products, then you will need Thrivecart Pro because there's two options. There's the standard and there's the pro option. Now standard is usually adequate for most people and the main features that are missing are those two that I've mentioned, the affiliate center and the sales tax. Okay, so once you've done this, you can go ahead and you can customize your um, customer's invoice um, and then you can click through to next. Now, this is where it starts taking us into a kind of funnel process, which enables us to replace the likes of um, Funnel Gorgeous or ClickFunnels or any of those other expensive softwares that you might have heard of. So ClickFunnels, I think, is $99 a month. So the one-time offer for Thrivecart, it's going to pay for itself within about six months. So that's why it becomes powerful because we can not only build checkout pages, but we can actually build full funnels on this. Um, so if you wanted to create a bump, that's the little offer that you get at the end of a checkout. In fact, I'll create one just so you can see it. So your bump could be a book, for example. So you could offer your course and then your bump could be for people to also receive a book. Um, but you get the same choice here as you do when you're setting up a full product. So. 
Your bump offer could be, let's just say um, an email sequence and you're going to sell it for whatever, 27 pounds, for example. Um, you get an option to pre-select it by default. I would always recommend that you don't do that. Don't like trick anybody into buying something that they might not necessarily have wanted. So I always keep this at no. And then you can just move on and I'll show you where that bump offer then shows up. Now, then you get an option to set up your payment processes. So I have Stripe and PayPal so that people can uh, check out with either of those options. And then this is where you can make um, a choice about whether you want affiliates to be able to promote this product for you. I'm going to skip that because it takes us down a whole other avenue. But if you have the pro version, then you will get this option here. If you don't, if you're on standard, you won't have that affiliate option. Um, so then once we've gone through there, then we have to um, we have to have um, a support option. So here I'm just going to put a support URL and then you can choose what happens when, when people have actually finished the checkout. So are you going to display their total invoice? Are you going to send them to a URL, which would be like your thank you page, which is a great opportunity for you then to present something else to them if you want to or you could send them to a membership site. Now, with the new announcement about Learn, I'm fairly sure that this option here is gonna be really, really straightforward. The way that I work it at the moment is I will nearly always send them to a thank you page, which is a, um, a URL on my website, and it will trigger an email sequence from Active Campaign, which is my email service provider. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. For simplicity, I'm just gonna leave it as this with your invoice that it's gonna display your invoice. Um, and then I'm going to carry on to the actual checkout. So there's an easy way that we can do this. So if you decide to go ahead and purchase Thrivecart through my affiliate link, you will get um, automatic access to my template. And I'll show you what that looks like because you can either launch the editor so you can build something from scratch or you can copy a design from another product or you can import a design. And so when you go ahead and get access to my bundle, which is my workshop and my template, uh, you'll be able to go ahead and just click on import a design because you'll have all the access to that. For the moment, for speed and simplicity, I'm just gonna copy a design from another product. And um, so once you've created something, you can easily add it. So I'm just gonna uh, use this one. Um, and it gives you an option to copy all of the text and the success page. I'm just going to copy this. I think this is a fairly straightforward checkout uh, that I've got here. So you can see you can add an image and you can um, add text. So all of these options over here, you can literally just drag. If I want to add some other text in here, then I can go ahead and just add in text. And it's kind of what you see is what you get editor. So this is new text. Um, this is uh, by default, this incre My Incredible Course is brought in from that title that we created when we very first created the product. So that's why you want this to be something compelling because it's going to show up and it needs to make sense. Um, you have an option for coupon codes because you can create coupons um, for all of your offerings. And then this here is the bump. So down here, this is where um, I, I mean, it's, this is automatically populated with what I had on that uh, previous product. So it's just brought it in from the checkout, um, from, the, from the checkout page that I cloned. But this, um, this is what a bump looks like. So this is where people can toggle it on or toggle it off. But here are the pricing options that we set up right at the beginning. So the one-time payment or the four pay plan. Now you can uh, make sure that everything is on brand. So this green is probably not something that you're gonna love. So you can just go ahead and change this to anything. You can add your own hex values or you can use um, colors that are already in here. So, and there's lots and lots of optimizations that you can do or customizations that you can do over here. But just to keep things nice and clean and quick, I'm just gonna run you through this. Um, so when someone has been in here and they've filled out their uh, contact information then they are going to get taken to the payment information and this is where stripe and paypal are at play so if you had added apple pay this would also be an option here and so people can go ahead they can complete their order here and um, and then they will get access to the actual invoice um, which we had said when someone completes their purchase, they're going to go through to the actual invoice. And this is that invoice here. So um, 
if, if we hadn't selected that, it would have taken them straight through to a success page on the website. So then when you click on complete, that now says that all those settings have been saved and you can click through to next. You can choose tracking services if you want to track it uh, with the Facebook pixel or anything else that you've got going on. And then again, here is some real power in Thrivecart. You can add rules in here. So when the main product is purchased, um, I'm going to use active campaign. I can add them to a list or a tag, um, a new tag if I haven't got it set up yet. Or we can see if the main product is refunded, the cart is abandoned, the payment is declined. So when someone arrives on your cart and doesn't go ahead with a purchase, you can actually trigger an automation that says, hey, I noticed that you checked out my amazing course bundle, but you didn't actually go ahead and purchase it. Um, is there anything I can help you with? Or So you can follow up with them. Really powerful stuff. Um, you can also um, add a, a specific tag once the bump is offered, so you enter them into a new automation. Um, and also for subscriptions, there's loads of options. So if a recurring payment is made, you could thank them. Um, if the payment fails, then you can follow up with them, all this kind of thing. Oh, Dunning is also something that's on the um, pro plan. Dunning is when Thrivecart will follow up for you if a payment fails. Let's just say a, someone's on a subscription for your membership and, um, and their card changes. Maybe they had some card fraud and so they had to replace their card or maybe their credit card expired and that's the one that they normally pay for their membership with and so they've got a new card number. Dunning will track them down and will make sure that that transition to the new card is seamless without you having to do anything. So it's really, it's really smart and it's really clever. And what it enables you to do is it enables you to also let people know if they've got a payment coming up in three days time or if they've got a payment that's overdue or if their credit card is about to expire, all this kind of stuff. So it can do some really smart things um, that you would normally have to do yourself or ask a VA to do for you. So um, all of this, and then you can go ahead and just um, save that. I'm just going to cancel out of it. But there's loads of behavior that you can set up on these that becomes really, really powerful. Um, so, and then once you've done that, you can just click on save and it gets, gives you the URL. And this is where you can copy the URL and then you can just actually see what the checkout uh, cart looks like, or you can just view it from here. So this is gonna take us to the checkout page and you can see we've got this um, warning along here that we're in test mode. That's because we can actually go through the process and we can purchase it. So if I did that, um, I can show you exactly how that works. And um, let's just say I want to buy the bump, I would toggle it on here and then it adds it to my order. I might have a coupon code so I could add that and test it here as well. Um, I'm going to choose the pricing option and then click on continue. So to perform a test transaction, I literally just copy the card number. I paste it in here. I add any date that's in the future, any CBC number, and I click on complete order. And then it will just take me through to that invoice. So it will display that invoice that we looked at previously. Um, and those, um, invoices and the thank you pages and all that kind of stuff is completely customizable so um so yeah absolutely and then this order this process of going through this we'll just take a moment as the order is completed and um and then you can see what actually happens now at this point you will also have set up your email sequence using those tags in the behavior area of thrivecart so that's how you set up an actual product in thrivecart um, now I actually want to just very quickly show you um, the, oh, hang on. I want to just make sure because that may have opened into a new tab. Um, I just really quickly want to show you in here. Now, like I said, I haven't dug in here, but we've got courses so you can create projects. So they're like folders so you can organize different courses. So you could have courses. So for me, I could have something like courses on email marketing. I could have courses on um, web design. I could have courses on checkout platforms with Thrivecart or whatever it is. So um, I can create like folders for each of those. I can also create bundles, which is really powerful. Um, so I'm, I'm excited about trying out how bundles could work because what that means is you can then just bunch together 
a load of um, courses and sell them as a bundle for the likes of, let's just say, Black Friday that's coming up next month. Um, you can just pull things together as a bundle, which is really powerful. Um, then you can go ahead and um, this is where all of your students are going to be um, listed and where you can get access to them. And then if you're giving access to your team, I have actually gone ahead and upgraded to the plus version of Learn. So you can see here I've got Learn Plus, which does enable me to have a, a team on here because it's $195 at the moment. At some point, they're probably going to put that price up. And it just seems to make sense to have access to this because I want to get really familiar with this platform, even though at the moment I have an amazing learning management platform that I really love using. I can see that a lot of my clients are going to end up on Learn because so many of them are using Thrivecart already because they absolutely love it, that it would be a no brainer for them to move on to Learn. And I want to make sure that I'm up to speed so I can help them with all of the integrations and functionality of it. So that's a little intro to Thrivecart and to Learn. So um, I'm going to be digging more into Learn over the coming few weeks so that I can actually pull together some tutorials for you on this. Um, and I might actually pull together my new um, website content kit, which is a mini course that I'm putting together at the moment. I might put it together on Learn so that I can just see how it runs and how it integrates with Thrivecart and, and everything else. So. I'm excited. I hope you are too. Please feel free to ask me any questions if you want to. Um, my Thrivecart affiliate link is below this video. And if you do purchase through that referral link, I will get a small commission um, and you will get access. It doesn't cost you any extra to buy through that link. And you will also get access to my Thrivecart workshop recording. And also you will get access to my um, Thrivecart uh, checkout template. So that's it from me. Do ask questions. Thank you so much.